Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're doing a piston ring install. Have this uh, 61 millimeter Tata. Trying to do the fork it today. Running out of light. Let's do it. Alright, so I already got the rings unbagged. I'm going to start with this one. The way I do it. Intake at the top. Looks at the oil ring gap. The very, very, very top. I think that's how you're supposed to do it, just because it's a, a horizontal engine. Anyway, gap is at the very top where that hole is. This is just the way I do it. Could be wrong, but it's been working. So second gap. Let's see what am I doing? Doing it backwards. Just take your time. Don't stress. You don't have to force anything. Should all go fairly, fairly easy. Okay, oh my gosh. What a pain. Just gonna slide the gap. Back to the top. Check the second one. The second one is underneath the piston wrist hole here. Take up, gap there. Up there. So I'm going to put the second ring gap here on this side. So don't force anything. Just enough force to get it in there. It kind of just falls into place. Could be a little smoother, but this is what we got. First gap here, second here, third here. So we're gonna start with our rings. Hmm, you just look. Look the same. Let's 
So I see there's two rings. One has an R, one has an RN. This one looks like it has a little bevel to it. So the R is going to go on top. So the way I do these ones. Oh wait, no. Put one there. And one there on the other other sides of the wrist pin holes. So the RN is going to go into this middle slot here. Now, if you have a 50 cc GY6, you'll have two rings. One silver, silver side goes up on a 50. Ooh, these bad boys are stiff. Hope you can see. Maybe a little tougher than the oil rings. So, like I said, you don't have to He-Man it. Just enough force to get it on there. It's so, like I already popped it in the groove. Just slowly gonna follow it around. Just enough force to get it in. Don't He-Man it. Just take a deep breath. Alright, so let's go back. Didn't take up top. Middle compression ring. It's gonna go at the 10 o'clock. And this one that says R, it has the silver around the edge. I'm assuming it's beveled and it's gonna go on top. So I'm gonna put that on this side right here. I'm just gonna get the one end in there. Get the one end in there. You're just gonna follow it around. See, it's already in the groove. It just wants to go on its own. Alright, so what we're gonna do is check it one last time. And take up top. First ring, gap on the top. Second ring, on the left side. Right down here under the piston rest a little. Second gap right here. I'll take it. And our compression rings. We got the one in the middle. Up here at the 10. And the very top of the silver on the edge, at the two. You got this. Have a good day, you guys. See you on the next episode.